to be How are we doing tonight everybody? We are done trying to calm myself down a little bit. I'm battling with insurance. Some of you may know from about a summer ago, early early last summer or whatever, I had a claim on my roof, some hail damage. Well, the insurance company and their infinite wisdom basically closed the claims I've got hail damage on the roof and if you all know what soft metal is that's the valleys and the exhaust fans and the metal trim and blah 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 well somehow I've got damage to that and they'll replace that but I have to find that magic contractor that can remove that without damaging, breaking, unsealing any of my shingles. So for those of you that may not know what a roof valley is, that's where two roofs come together and you'll see like, like a metal strap that'll be between the two roofs. That's a roof valley, that's soft metal. And then you have the exhaust fans, you'll have like about a half dozen or so, depending on how big your roof is in a pitch because that's where the air will vent out through uh, the roof so your house can breathe while it's while you're heating it and cooling it and blah 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 they replace all that but all of that is on roof level and then the shingles go around it so it seals it so that it can seal so your house doesn't leak so yeah I'm trying to keep a civil tongue in my mouth. I'm a little perturbed, to say the least. But I didn't want to burden you guys with my issue. But I am concerned or curious. Have have any of you guys had issues with with uh, insurance companies? I mean, we're looking at 
I'm being suggested to file a claim with the state board of insurances that these idiot companies get their licenses through. So essentially, I have to go to the, the department where the insurance gets their license to be able to operate to embezzle money from us. Oh, did I say that out loud? My bad. In order to take money from us each month, in order to have a license to insure us, they have to go through the State Board of Insurance. So basically, I've been fighting over a year. This has been ongoing since... No, I guess it'd be a, a one-year mark next month. I've been fighting with this since February. So, um, yeah. But anyway, so that looks like possibly our next step is to file a claim. And my adjuster or my insurance guy or my, okay, my contractor that I'm hiring basically says when you kind of sort of do that it kind of puts a little fire in their butt to do the right thing and all of a sudden magically they find room in the claim to oh yeah oh yeah yeah we see that yeah yeah why do you got to go through that that's what I want to know you pay your money you're on time with with your monies and then it's almost like getting having a car wreck, you know, and the left front corner is damaged of your car, your vehicle, your truck, or whatever, and headlights busted out, fenders all messed up, the hood's kind of messed up, and they go, okay, here's the deal. We'll go ahead and we'll place the hood, we'll fix your fender, but sorry, we're not going to take care of none of the lights, your, the headlights out, you know, that, you know, there was no damage. It wasn't broken. It, there's, there's no damage. Essentially, that's basically what they're saying. Because it's ridiculous on its face that the soft metal that's under the shingle is not damaged, but the soft metal under the shingle is. Anyway. But tonight's dinner is let me flip you guys around i haven't started it yet but we're going to we're gonna have the chicken gizzards again you guys have seen that one let me zoom out here a little bit and then i got chicken hearts so we're gonna have gizzards and chicken hearts we're gonna have at least five of those and that's din din for the night and we are sitting here in the Pacific Northwest at our Ritzville. And uh, they're supposed to get one to three inches. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to wake up to crap on the road. It's going to be... I'm not going to Seattle. Um, I guess it's supposed to get a good, pretty good blizzard there. It's not hazardous material that I'm picking up, so... Um, they said don't even bother going up there if it's not hazardous. So we're just going to go to Vancouver. That'll be a challenge and then hopefully make it back to at least right here. We should be able to make it into Montana, theoretically. But with this storm, we just don't know what we're going to have yet. So that's the deal. All right, everybody. Well, on that, God bless. Love you guys. Lord willing. Thanks for letting me rant a little bit didn't mean to but insurance really gets I just figure you're embezzled I mean they take your money but then when you got a claim they stonewall you because they don't want to pay for it just my opinion it's my opinion and I'm entitled to that so on that God bless love you guys Lord willing they'll get it right and this will get resolved Let's have some fun tomorrow in the snow. All right, y'all. Love you. <laughs> We're cooking. Whee! Haven't decided how many eggs I'm going to have. Probably at least five. So, anyway, enough. I just wanted to...
Quebec. And apologize for ranting like that. It just gets up underneath your craw because it, it's 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 just looking like I'm going to end up having to finance, having to get my whole roof done, get it done right. But I can tell you this much: if I got to do it myself, well, pretty much we're done with the company that the insurance company. I don't know if I want to throw their name in here because I don't think they listen, but I'll reveal it after the fact. I'm sure y'all know, can imagine who, but so just that. God bless. Love you guys. See you tomorrow.